In a time known for partisan bickering, a bipartisan agreement has developed in Washington. Our Marcus Clem talked to Senator Josh Hawley about a federal cap of $35 on insulin for Medicare patients. What do you think Congress's role is in influencing the price of pharmaceuticals in this way? What's the standard for you in, in making that happen? Cap it. We ought to cap insulin prices. I voted to cap it last year. I have introduced a bill that would cap the cost of insulin at 25 bucks for a month-long supply of insulin for everybody, not just for those who are on Medicare, but uh, for those who have private insurance as well. We have millions of people, 34 million at least in the United States, who need insulin on a daily basis in order to live. So we ought to cap it. There's no reason why these big pharma companies, and there's only three of them in the United States who make insulin anymore, there's no reason why they should be making outrageous profits at the cost of people who are literally dependent for their lives on this drug that's been around for a century. So I think we ought to cap it at $25. What do you say, I, I, th I think uh, probably at least a majority of your Republican colleagues would, would call this a kind of like a, a governmental overreach. What do you say to them? I would just say that there's no reason that Big Pharma should make a killing off the backs of people who are dependent on this drug. My final question for you today, Senator, pertains to the rail safety regulation. Uh, wh where do you stand on the legislation that's being advanced on a bipartisan basis by Senators uh, Vance and Brown? Listen, we ought to be protecting people from those kind of derailments. Uh, we've got a lot of train track in the state of Missouri, and we're affected, by the way, by these kind of hazardous spills that happen in other states. I mean, for example, the spill in Ohio runs into the Ohio River, runs into the Mississippi, and, and we're affected by that downstream in the state of Missouri. And I've asked the EPA to give us an accounting of what the downstream effects of all those chemicals are. The bottom line is we ought to be protecting people who live along the railroad lines, who are affected by the railroad lines, whose water supply is affected. So this is, this is common sense stuff. Let's pass it. Okay, Senator, that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you very much for taking the time. That was an abridged interview between reporter Marcus Clem and Senator Josh Hawley. To read more about their conversation, you can go to newspressnow.com.